How's it going, everybody? Doing some Jedi Survivor gameplay here today on the PS5. I'm just screwing around. I, uh... Just exploring the galaxy here. I've obviously completed the game. I'm on Cobot now, so... I am just gonna run around and do shit. You do have mounts in this game, as you can see. This is an area I have not been in. Call up the map here, and uh, you can see I've got uh, all this crap available to see now in Heart Echoes, treasures. That's a force tear where you can do, like, challenge, a challenge. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that guy. I got a double-ended uh, saber here. <laughs> when they do that red move, you gotta just get out of the way, which I didn't, but whatever. I'm actually almost dying. I got 10 stim packs. You hit up on the T-pad. BD1 gives you stim pack. That was force, yeah, force pull, force push, all that shit. These tumbleweed things are weird. Oh, is this that? Let me see what this says. A roller mine? I have to get one of these rollers. These things follow you around, these roller mines. You have to use them at different points to kind of blow up stuff. But I don't know where it is. It's a very nice looking game. Hold on, I'm just gonna... I'm kind of just screwing with the brightness on the of the camera. Of course, this camera's not doing it full justice, but that thing in the background is an old uh, thing from the Clone Wars. There's a lot of Clone Wars uh, nods in this, vehicles and stuff like that. Just an AD, that's an ATST or an AT80, it's ATST, right? And then there's these bozos. It'll just burn the shit out of me. And I will get my ass kicked. Um, check this out, though. This is his dark force power. He's gonna start going nuts. <laughs> and you dominate, which is always nice. This guy's like, I'm still alive. And you're getting experience from all that shit. Um, where the hell is there a roller mine? These enemies will respawn too and take these paths. What's this? Oh, I think I had done whatever that is. Maybe. Whatever. I want to try to find this roller mine now. You hop on those and they'll fly around with you on there. You hold on to them and, and they'll fly away. Fly all over the place. It's extremely windy out today, so that might be picking up. <laughs> you can cut plants and stuff. That's a, a cheat. This is such a cheat, in my opinion, on enemies. You can literally just force pull them in and... All right, the lower level enemies you can, uh... And you can pull them in and just kill them quick. Uh, I don't know where this brawler mine is. Mm. Like I said, I'm just screwing. Enemies will just continually appear. <laughs> like all these idiots. 
And these guys, they will fight each other too. Which is nice. I think you get a something for like a perfect block. Get like quick like counterattack or some shit. I just chucked the thing there too. I do that by holding R. You know, you gotta do combos and stuff. I usually just get pretty wild with it. I cannot climb up there unless I have a, uh, a mount. The funny thing is, I don't feel like fighting constantly. They just keep appearing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Do you see here the droids from the, uh, the prequels? They, they're around. I helped that thing out at some point on this world. <laughs> it was stuck. I'm not gonna run around trying to find that roller mine all day, but... I wanna say there's a couple different mounts to get. Oh, there's the, uh... Dude, and you can deflect while mounted. Uh oh, then <laughs> this guy I killed before, and he just reappeared. Obviously, <laughs> it's like I do not want to bother with stuff, but I can't help but get annoyed. Bothered by characters, I should say. Oh my god, he's still up my ass. He's gonna kill me. Motherfucker. And you take off an arm. I didn't dodge it fast enough. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure you can fast travel up meditation points, right? Can you not? I can't even remember. It's been so long. Oh, you can fast travel. I don't know why I'm not. I should have screwed around a little bit more when I put it back in. <laughs> Whatever. I want to go back to the town. There's my ship. You can see it. What is it? The man? Same one from the Fallen Order. I have it on performance mode right now. It's performance and quality. Usually the performance gives it that weird, like, uh... I'm used to it, but it gives it the weird soap opera look. <laughs> it looks like a way a soap opera's filmed. Let me go in the, what's his name, Greasy's, or Greasy's, 
this cantina. Cal Kestis is, is a cool character. Um, I pretty much like all the characters in this game. Like I said, a few characters were underused, like the one bad guy. I should have got more action, but here he is here. some of them right there. Oh, there's a game here you play. I'm not going to play this game. What is it called? I forget. Oh, oh there's Marin. These are the people, you, these are the people I've, uh, their level is the little dots there above their head, but I've defeated him because he's got a check. I did more as apparently another person I've now discovered. And they'll give you rewards. It shows you what. Grease is a three. Let me see if I can beat anybody in this. You t you've got to use your points here. It's each it's three waves or two, three waves. And how many points do I have? Um... I think I have six or sixteen to work with. What has he got out there? Oh, I have different uh, sets here too. I can use. You can choose from any one of them. <laughs> if he does it damage, he'll kill him quickly. But. I'm not going to start that fight yet. Oh, there's a roller mine. I need that. Let's put a Vader. Vader. A Raider veteran. This Gorger. I don't want to use all my points, so... Let's see how I can do with these three. That does not look great on camera, admittedly. Although it doesn't look much different. I got destroyed. <laughs> Alright, I'm done doing that. These are a lot of people you met throughout. They're an item now, Calamari. Oh, 
At least I thought they were. No, they did. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure they're together now. And the funny thing with this, with her is it's like she has ridiculous powers. It's like she could have been taking care of most of this shit herself. This is the droid you find early. Z is its name. Yeah. And you can get stuff from him. I have 13 data disks. That's the currency for this robot. Little parts for BD, lightsaber colors, or colors for BD. And there's perks you get too. Um, perks. You can put them in here. So these are the ones I have in there. Damage, life regen, confusion, damage, push enemies, all types of stuff. I have seven of eight slots in use. These are the stances. I've used cross guard quite a bit. It's slower, but uh, it does good damage and the range is good. But I usually go with either dual wield or uh, double bladed, double ended. <laughs> I usually go with a double ended dildo. And you got a build. Kid might. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You go up here, and there's the uh, plant life up here, and there's the persons here looking after it. Well, now here's the kid. And you can do gardening, and you can squeeze these plants in. find those and those will give you experience points um, as well. One second. It is a cool game. It's just I was disappointed. Like this world you can explore. A lot. It's this one and it's... Um, I said you can't... It's not doing the graphics complete justice because it is a really good looking game. There are space stations you go. But the final world you go to, it was it was like nothing. You barely did anything on it. It kind of sucked. I was like, Are "You kidding me?" Let's see what's up on here. 
This is where you fly. A new place. Is this wants me to do something apparently? Wait, what? What world is that? Oh, Jeddah. That's the other big one. Coruscant small. You're not doing much there. Then you got the Shattered Moon. This is the uh, the other world. Then you get this one. It's like a meteor with a thing base on it or some shit. Let me go here. What is going on there? screw around here a little bit while you're traveling. And then Grease will tell you to take a seat. You still have this stuff from the first game. These little uh, stuff you found. And there's these workbenches you can uh, change up everything. Your lightsaber, your gun. But you get different pieces of your lightsaber and shit. I just can say it looks exactly like the guy who plays him. What's his name? Dominic? Is it Dominic Monaghan or something else? I forget his name. So she's here. The kid's here now. This is where they were hiding the, the Jedi archives and stuff. I forget her name. Um, and the other guy, Cordova, who you meet in this one. I don't know why I can't remember her name. Oh, what's this? Oh, see these echoes must have appeared after the game ended. Oh, they're all from Bo. I literally can't remember how to fast travel. It's always something. <laughs> then you can dress him up in gear too. I'm, I don't even know what I'm wearing, just basic crap. I usually don't go nuts with the gear and stuff, that's why. I always get a kick when I think this one sold a deluxe upgrade. It's like fifteen dollars for like a couple of outfits and like a lightsaber. Get the fuck out of here. There's one. There's a forced hair. I did not do that one. Some of them are very hard. You know how much I really should have played it a little bit? Whoops. Um. 
I just don't know why. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a rumor. You get rumors, too, throughout. I really am an idiot. I'm pretty damn sure you can fast travel in this game. Oh, all right. That's why. I have to be at a meditation point to travel to other ones. I thought you could just do it. I'm glad I looked that up because I would not have realized that. Can I launch off of this? Nope. So we jump off the fucking thing. I'll show you this guy, uh, this world a little bit, and then maybe I'll jump uh, to like the space station or something, or the, the meteor space or whatever the hell it is. It's just these two planets that you really can explore. Coruscant's small; it's you're not exploring much of it. All right, where is the one over here? Mm -hmm. the oh, oh, this is annoying. <laughs> you have to do this every time. Smack that little rolling ball in there to open the door. Let me use another force echo. This is where you fought Vader as Sayer. Oh yeah, you get a grappling hook that you can use. You get that a little later in the game. That's when it gets crazy with some of the gameplay. You're like <laughs> launching all the places like high above, way high above the world, just launching all over the place. Where do I want to go? Let's go out here. This is like the desert world. Once again, it looks fantastic. I This world was pretty cool. Kobo is the better one. But there's just, it's not, there's not enough. Like, you can ride those things. Uh, there's just not enough going on. And uh, it's kind of frustrating, actually. Oh, God. There we go. Marinal will remain in the desert while I uh, screw around. Um... And you can unlock shortcuts here and stuff. It's a very nice looking game, like, no doubt about it. At least I got in some fights earlier. You gotta keep looking at your map to see what, you know, what you're coming up to. Um. I will admit some of it's a little annoying because you're like, oh wait, what level do I have to get up to? And you gotta do this, you gotta do that. It's a little annoying sometimes with that shit. I can't even remember what the hell is going on here. Oh, great. Uh oh. I thought I blocked him. Let's just use the uh, dark side of the force here and really fuck him up. 
it's just fun to use that when you first use it like he's like he's pretty much like do it <laughs> you know and uh he does and he kicks the shit out of everybody you use it for i forget where you first use it it might be on one of the space station things i think it's like right after you find out like or you're following bode I thought I would have. What was the point of that? Oh. Oh, where is that? Oh, okay. That's what I have to do here. I don't know why I'm doing this, but... No, push it in there. Motherfucker. I hit it again, I did the wrong thing again. Alright. You always get expert play from me. Oh wow, it sent it flying. What the fuck? I feel like I'm making that harder than it has to be. No, maybe not. Can I shimmy through here? I can, but there was only a thing in there, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's a little chest thing you can open. But I'm already 32 minutes. Uh, but this is this world. It's a it's a cool world, but the other one's better. And I don't know. There's just not a. I think Fallen Order had the better planets. And more planets to explore further that weren't small. That's kind of frustrating, but... That's really my biggest gripe with this game, is, is that... Um, I wanted more planets to explore. That's the thing... The draw, one of the draws for me at least of these games is I want to be able to, like, whenever you get to a new game world, you're like, oh my god, you know, this is awesome. Um, you know, and you just want to see the new world. Like this one, you know, when you get to the world you get to, you're like, oh, I can't wait to see it. The problem is, it's only these two that are huge. Coruscant, you're in the beginning and you can go back whenever afterwards. The Tantalor is small as shit, which was disappointing. And then you have the space station and the, uh, the meteor thing, but while both cool, it's like it's like, I want planets here. The Shattered Moon, that's what it That's a big, for me at least, it's a big kind of thing. This is pretty much just a load time. <laughs> this game doesn't, uh, it's not as like fast to each thing as like Spider-Man 2 was. Was it Spider-Man 2? Was it just called Spider-Man 2? I might be able to skip that. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to scroll around on here for a few minutes. Once again, it looks phenomenal.
I mean, I would still check it out if you haven't played it and you enjoyed Fallen Order. You're going to enjoy this game. You're just going to wish that there was more. Let me go try to fast travel to something here. This isn't the uh, space station. This is a space station too. You go to. Um, I can't believe I'm already at 36 minutes. And there's things in the environment you can do this with. I think I can jump on that. Survivor gameplay and some battles on Koba and crap like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool game, but it's missing some stuff. How about I just do this? Mm -mm -mm -mm. You lose a little health when that happens. Um, I don't know how I didn't grab that. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for check this game out. It's overall great, except the fact that there's just not enough planets to explore. But anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks for checking this out. 